In the previous video, we had a look at testing components wrapped with providers. We learned about the wrapper option we can pass to the render function to wrap the component when testing. Now this is great for one-off scenarios where the context provider wraps only a few components. However, for something like a theme provider or Redux store provider, it makes sense to have the wrapper at the top level and available for every component. This will also save us from having to specify the wrapper option in every test. Now the way to achieve a single wrapper across all tests is by writing a custom render function. Now we could do this by hand, but I feel it is easier if I point you to the docs where you can copy paste the code from. In the end, it is what I do as well. Head over to testinglibrary.com, click on Docs, Frameworks, and React Testing Library. Click on Setup, and scroll down to Custom Render. Select TypeScript. You can see it asks us to create a testutils.tsx file where we can define a custom render function that has all the providers specified with the wrapper option. Click on the copy icon and head back to VS Code. Here within the source folder, create a new file test-utils.tsx. Within the file, paste the clipboard contents. The code here is sample code, so let's make changes to suit our app. First, get rid of all the provider's component and the three import statements. Finally, in custom render function, replace all the providers with our own app providers component. Make sure to import it at the top. And that pretty much is our custom render function. All we are doing is returning the render function from testing library with all the necessary wrappers already in place. Any other option we are passing in as is. UI here is the component we want to render and there is a bit of TypeScript for the arguments. Once we have defined the custom render function, we export it as render. We also export everything else from React Testing Library. With this in place, we can now head back to muimode.test.tsx and remove the wrapper option from the test. This will make our test to fail. Now, at the top, instead of importing render and screen from testing library, we import it from our test utils. Dot dot slash dot dot slash test utils. Let me also remove the app providers import statement. If we now save the file, our test continues to pass. This is how you create a custom render function when working with top-level providers. To summarize, we created a test utils file in the source folder. We imported app providers, render from React testing library, and returned a custom render, which returns render with the providers already in place. We also export everything else from React testing library. This allows us to import them in our test file and remove the individual wrapper option from each render function. Hopefully, it all makes sense to you. In the next video, let's learn how to test a custom React hook. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.